Welcome to Lecture 8. In a world brimming with surveillance technologies, preserving personal privacy has become a concern for many civilians. Today, we will explore practical counter-surveillance methods and delve into the legal and ethical considerations associated with these techniques, tailored specifically for everyday civilians. Let's begin with practical methods to counter-surveillance. Situational awareness is the cornerstone. It's about being cognizant of your surroundings, noticing unfamiliar faces or vehicles that appear repeatedly in your vicinity. Remember, conducting counter-surveillance like a professional assumes you're under surveillance. One doesn't need to go full throttle with these techniques each day. But think about when this might apply. Maybe you are depositing a large sum of cash at the bank. Or perhaps you are keeping something extremely valuable in your home. Now on to digital countermeasures. In this digital age, protecting your online footprint is crucial. Utilizing VPNs for virtual private networks to mask your IP address and embracing encrypted messaging apps like Signal can shield your communications from prying eyes and aggressive online tracking conducted every day by corporations. Furthermore, simple measures like covering the webcam on your computer, being cautious about sharing personal information on social media, and regularly updating and upgrading the security software on your devices can go a long way in protecting your privacy. Now, let's transition to the legal and ethical landscape surrounding counter-surveillance. While protecting personal privacy is paramount, it's crucial to adhere to the legal frameworks governing counter-surveillance techniques. For example, while using a VPN is legal in many countries, some nations have restrictions on VPN usage. Being informed about the laws in your jurisdiction is essential. In the West, where the target audience of this course primarily resides, VPNs are not illegal and we encourage their use. Remember, ethical counter-surveillance is about protecting oneself without infringing on the rights of others or breaking the law. A real-world example that resonates with many is the rise of neighborhood watch apps. While these platforms can foster community safety, they also pose questions about surveillance and privacy, especially when civilians take it upon themselves to monitor their neighbors. In conclusion, Counter-surveillance is not a realm exclusive to espionage thrillers. It's a practical discipline that when employed judiciously, can empower civilians to reclaim a measure of privacy in an increasingly watched world. See you in the next lecture.